Hey guys, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been a little bit down about like the, and I shouldn't be. I understand that this is immaturity on my end. Um, something that I feel I have to give to the Lord so that he could help me because this is not why I make videos. But I have allowed it to affect me with the whole subscriber thing, um, as well as like the whole liking the video thing. It's just been very like small. And in comparison of what I think I bring to the table and this is not to shame anybody or anything like that This is just me spilling my guts and telling people how How I'm feeling behind the scenes. So I I told myself I'm not gonna make no more videos uh, for a while and then uh, You know with the mindset of all oh, let them appreciate it or whatever but uh, I felt like I've had like I don't know man at least seven videos go through my head um and my, you know, ideas of what I can make videos on. And God continues to give me ideas. And I just, I haven't been putting it out there for that reason that I, I mentioned earlier. And I got this one idea right now from God. And I just felt like I'm going to take it up. And I'm going I'm to be faithful with it because it could help somebody, you know. So, like, this idea that he gave me is about relationship. And the way that I felt that God was putting it to me was is that some people want heaven but they don't care so much about God as they do heaven and that's the and then he was showing me how that's like the, that's like the difference between religion and relationship religion wants the things of God religion wants the place like they don't mind going to church they don't mind you know doing the the, the events and and going about the mechanics of different things like that. But they don't get into his presence. And so they're busy going all over the place. Doing all kinds of stuff. But imagine that for a second with me. Imagine heaven. But you don't see the father. Or, or, or like it's available to you. He's available to you. But more so you're, you're more concerned with... Uh, just like the experience of looking around and just the scenery and I know that that appeals to a lot of people including myself uh, you want to see the scenery and all that but the point that I'm trying to make is is that I felt like the way God was putting it to me was is that like people care more about the scenery than they do me and I just feel like that's a matter of the heart so we need to come back to our roots come back to our the place where originally your first love was God and not the things that God brought to the table. It wasn't the gifts. It wasn't the pat in the back, the rewards or whatever. It was Him. It was Him. It wasn't the attention you got from people. It wasn't the likes like I mentioned in the video. You know, uh, that, I, that I was feeling down about. It wasn't originally people do things for God. For Him. And he is enough to fulfill their every. But the Bible talks about seed being scattered on different types of soil. And one of the soils that it mentions in the Bible is thorns that come and choke out the seed. And what that what it's talking about is the cares of this world. They worry so much about different things that don't really matter in the end of the day. I feel like the Lord was ministering unto me because nobody's perfect out there. Nobody. Uh, take the biggest most popular pastor out there preacher whatever and um, don't put anybody on a pedestal humans are humans and um, we're all under construction in one way or another don't let anybody tell you different it's a lie if they tell you different nobody's perfect but with that said I felt like the Lord was ministering to me in an area that I'm weak in which is basically um, that whole subscriber thing, or because uh, I I have the ambition to grow, I have the ambition and all of that, and that's not bad. But what what it was doing to me was it was calling the shots on what I would do or not do. And at that point, now that's cross boundaries, that's cross lines. That God says, well, that's not cool. I want you to continue to minister to the sheep and and you're allowing this to affect you so don't allow 
things that are not God, right? To have so much territory in your heart. That's the moral of the story there. Don't allow things of this world, the cares of this world, the, the, the things, the scenery, so to speak. Don't allow that to dictate your attitude, your personality, your character towards God. Let, let your relationship with the Lord be the very essence of why you do life or how you do life. That's Christianity. That's relationship. And that is the right way to do everything. Go into his presence and spend time with him and stay there so that you can do life and greet people and talk to people and conversate with people and do deeds and and buy groceries and do but do it while you're in God. Do it while you're spending time in God. You understand what I'm saying? It goes back to heaven. It's like your mind will take you to where you want to go. You think sad thoughts, you, you're going to go into a dark place. And you think uh, heavenly thoughts, you're going to think things above. You think about God himself, right? And wanting to be inside him. Wanting to live with him, wanting to dwell in his habitation, wanting to be with him and partake in his ways, wanting to be one with him. You start thinking and, and meditating on that, and your mood will change, your language will change with people, your, your touch will start to have anointing, oil on it, and things will change for you. And... The, 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 the struggle, the battle here is let that be enough for you to where you don't need to go anywhere else to gain any more resources than what you get in God himself. Let him fill your cup. Don't fill your cup with other things of this world and then fill your cup also with God and say, you know, it's like back in the day I used to go into McDonald's or something. And I'll get, I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but back in the day I used to do this. I don't do this anymore. But I used to get Coca-Cola and Sprite and mix them, right? And it was a mixture there. Some people, and you know. Now, something that I still do is uh, I'll go to Publix and if they have like chili soup and if they have like uh, broccoli soup, I'll put, I'll put some of the chili and some of the broccoli together. Now, that's mixture, right? Um, a lot of people do that in life. And I just feel, um, without being religious or legalistic or law or anything like that, I just feel like it's supposed to be love and passion. It's supposed to be uh, God at the center, at the apple of your eye. You just falling madly in love with God and just letting Him be the fulfillment of your life, period. I just think it's that simple. I don't think it's that complicated. I think that we complicate stuff. I think seek first the kingdom of heaven and, and everything God will supply for you, right? God bless you guys. And uh, remember, we're all in the process. We're all growing. We're all moving from glory to glory, faith to faith, you know? And, you know, it's just a process, man. But keep the faith and and be uh, be wise and and how you go about life because a lot of it is discernment and wisdom and understanding and eyes to see and so don't just uh don't go about life just dull and in the darkness and feeling your way through life with your emotions and feelings because that's no way to go about it god gave us eyes to see ears to hear discernment wisdom and understanding give us a heart to feel what he is saying to us, conviction from the Holy Spirit, gave us feet that, that travel on the, on the narrow road. And let's utilize all of this access that he's given us to walk in the right path and to be in the right place and to do the right things and not just to uh, merely exist. So God bless you guys. Love you. Okay, bye-bye.